We appreciate your time. Thank you for attending to this lesson. Thank you for your comments. Last time we had a problem with our sound system. I think we have sorted that partly. But our lighting system still has a problem. So we are going to look into that in due course. Welcome to our question today. We are going to do a question on applications of integration in finding area between a curve and two ordinates. On the smart board we have find the area under the curve defined parametrically by x is equal to 6 into theta minus sine theta and y is equal to 6 into 1 minus cos theta between theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 2 pi for 9 marks. We want to go back to a simple basic formula for finding the area between a curve and two ordinates. And that area, we know that area is equal to integral from A to B, those are the boundaries, times Y integrated with respect to X. Now we have Y from my equation. We also have X, therefore we are going to get the derivative of that x to get dx. Let us work it out and see how far we go. So we know that x is equal to 6 into theta minus the sine of theta. And we are going to differentiate this one to get dx is equal to 6 into 1 minus the cosine of theta d theta. So we have dx, we have y. We are going to substitute those ones into our formula. We get area is equal to integral. Our lower boundary or lower limit a is 0. And our upper boundary b is equal to 2 pi. Then y is 6 into 1 minus cos theta. We are multiplying that by dx, our dx is 6 into 1 minus cos theta, and all that now is with respect to theta. So if we progress from there, we are going to have 6 multiplied by 6 is a constant, which gives us 36, and that can sit outside the integral from 0 to 2 pi, and now we have 1 minus cos theta, multiplied by 1 minus cos theta. We are integrating that with respect to theta. Now, those under brackets can be combined and we expand it to get 36 integral from 0 to 2 pi into 1 minus 2, the cosine of theta plus the cosine of theta squared. This one is done with respect to theta. Now we're going to distribute that into each of the terms so that our area is equal to 36 into integrate from 0 to 2 pi, the first part here, which is 1 d theta. Then we are subtracting integral from 0 to 2 pi of the second function there, which is cos theta, and we are doing it with respect to theta. The third part here, we are going to add into integral of 0 to 2 pi of the cosine squared of theta, and that is done with respect to theta, and everything else we put it into brackets. Now there's one thing that we're going to have to use trigonometry to substitute the cosine squared of theta. We know from trigonometry that the cosine squared of theta is equal to 1 plus the cosine of theta, actually supposed to be 2 theta. So we have cosine of 2 theta divided by 2. So where cos squared theta is, we're going to substitute it with that new expression. And we progress and have a is equal to 36, which is common to all those terms, the integral of theta of d theta from 2 pi to 
to 0 of 1 d theta minus 2 the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the cosine of theta cosine of theta we can wrap here and say this is the cosine of theta with respect to theta now instead of cosine squared theta we can have a half outside there then we have integral from 0 to 2 pi instead of cosine squared we have to replace that one with the 1 plus cosine of 2 theta and everything here is with respect to theta and close the bracket so we expand that one further and say area therefore is equal to 36 into if you integrate 1 with respect to theta from 0 to 2 pi you get theta and we substitute lower boundary 0 to 2 pi then we subtract 2 if you integrate cos theta you get sine theta which is positive so we have sine of theta from 0 to 2 pi then you are going to have add a half which is common to those ones it's like we are getting the integral of 1 with respect to theta and that gives us theta we are substituting from 0 to 2 pi then we add cosine of 2 theta if you integrate that we get a half the sine of 2 theta we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi and we close that bracket hope you have done everything right we can go back and check go back and check here we have 1 d theta same there we have cos 2 theta same there then we have cosine squared theta which we have substituted with 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so we can write this one as a half into the cosine of 2 theta plus 1 we are integrating that one with respect to theta which is okay if you integrate now 1 with respect to theta you get theta and we're integrating from 0 to 2 pi then 2 is a constant it can come outside if you integrate cos theta you get positive sine theta we are doing it from 0 to 2 pi which is okay now a half is common there then we integrate 1 with respect to theta we get theta we are doing it from 0 to 2 pi then if you integrate cos 2 theta you get a half sine 2 theta and we are doing it from 0 to 2 pi now we are fine and we are good to go we can do that again we get 36 into if you substitute 2 pi there you get instead of theta we get 2 pi if you substitute 0 you get 0 so we are not going to go into that then we have 2 into if you take sine theta and substitute theta with the 2 pi that one gives you 0 so you multiply that by 0 the same case if you take 0 here the sine of 0 is 0 and it gives us a 0 there then we are adding a half into if you substitute 2 pi here you get 2 pi if you substitute 0 there you get 0 so we are not going to go into that we are adding a half into if you substitute 2 theta here you get 4 theta and sine 4 theta is 0 if you substitute 0 there the sine of 0 is also 0 then you close that bracket and you close the main bracket then we can see what to do if there is any further simplification we have 36 into this is 2 pi it's a value 2 pi sorry we're supposed to have this as 2 pi so we have 2 pi here this gives us 0 this gives us a half times 2 pi which is actually going to be pi here then you close the bracket because everything else is 0 if you add 2 pi to pi you get 3 pi so that area becomes 36 into 3 pi you are not going to use the actual value of pi so we give your answer in terms of pi and say this is 36 by 36 by 3 I think this 108 so we get 108 pi square units pi square 
units. That is the area that is required in the question. And thank you very much for listening. Keep those comments coming and uh, you can subscribe to our channel. You like it, you share, so that we get this information to as many people uh, as possible. Thank you for listening and welcome to another lesson next time. Have a nice day.